Now that we've explored the technical side of working with Power Windows, next comes the fun stuff, actually creating different Power Window effects. But before we dive into those, which starts in the next tutorial, I just want to go over a couple quick notes about how I'm going to be able to display not only what I'm trying to create with the Power Window, but the final effect as well. So I'm always going to add a new node so that that correction that power window and the effect that we create will always be separate from any base correction that we always did. And again, the keyboard shortcut for adding new nodes is Option S on a Mac or Alt S on a PC. Now that's some basic stuff, but I just want to go over a couple other quick things. So as we talked about in an earlier tutorial, you can use the internal interface of DaVinci Resolve, the computer monitor, to actually have the overlays turned on to be able to work on them, and then on your external monitor, have the overlay turned off and just see the final result. But while you're going to be watching this tutorial, there's no way for us to do those simultaneously. So what I'll do is constantly hide the overlay so that you can see the effect that I'm creating by clicking off onto the Curves tab. And when I need to go back and rework on the power window, I'll click back on that tab. So that's one of the common things that we'll look at as we work with power windows over the next few tutorials.